You'll never see these animals unless you go out in the wild. People always tell me dinosaurs were extinct. I tell them that they're wrong with a positive way. While I'm wrangling some of the largest snakes in the world, educating all the parents, little boys and girls. Scorpions, tarantulas, now what you gonna do? You should get on down to the reptile zoo. If you have any questions, now what you gonna do? You should have a big party at the reptile zoo. There's, there's only three crews today. One in store, two in stores. Okay, so we got how many parties total? It's morning, I gotta check my eggs, see what we're doing. Got a few clutches with things hatching. See, now this is a corn snake, one of the tamest snakes made, but almost all snakes when they're first born are aggressive because they have to defend themselves so that if a little bird comes down, if he starts biting at them, the bird will run away. And I think we've got a few things. I know I was expecting some bearded dragon eggs to hatch and some other stuff. So let me see what we got here. Huh? this one just started hatching. So he's just pushing his way out. They have a little egg tooth on the top of their mouth, right on the top of their, like their nose area. And that little egg tooth just helps, when they push, it just helps them cut their way out. Looking pretty good, woo! Nice, healthy looking babies. Baby ball pythons. See, he even defends himself as a little baby. And that's a lesser, this is a spider. Look at, the, look at the head on this snake. Is that unbelievable or what? That thing's just gorgeous. So we're kind of getting ready. We got a couple boxes ready for the eggs coming, but you know what? I gotta go open up the zoo. It's time to open up the zoo. Let's move a couple of these snakes so that people can see one of the... I'm going to put the ivory out for the day until we get our other cage all cleaned out. And the big ivory? Yeah. This snake's like 97% tame, but the only bummer is the 3%. She decides when that 3% is and she's 97% of the time tame. Oh gosh, so heavy. If any blood's going to be donated, I donate blood. Tim, please. We're gonna actually move her in the back, but the cage that we're moving her in is kind of dirty. We're gonna clean it up. Just snake just laid eggs and we're gonna take her cage because for some reason the other room more eggs come out of it. So we're gonna put her in the egg laying room. Now she's not very nice. I don't know what it is. She's a grumpy snake. This is actually the one of the first white free ticks in the world. Okay. Armando here knows the snakes. See, so he's saying, stand back. She's actually got shed coming off. Might as well get some of it off while she's out. No 
watch out, she's gonna go big time to the bathroom. We want to say no handlers were hurt in the making of this film, especially guests. So we're going to go ahead and work our way back and we're going to go back to the room over there and we're going to make it happen. Okay, so we're going to hurry up and get this done. Oh, it's a big pile of eggs. It's a really big pile of eggs. It's about 150 pounds of snake and eggs. Big, beautiful white eggs. We got to roll around. She'd lost one egg in the clutch. Oh, oh. see, she already, she already gave me a little kiss. She's looking at me like funny. Of course, she's pr protecting her eggs. What we have to do is we have to keep it on an angle. And if she strikes, if you just keep your head turned, it won't be a problem. And I'll, I'll kind of make sure that you don't get bit, OK? I'll take it for the team if we have to. We call this the gauntlet because see how wide it is? This is an issue when you're giant pulling giant snakes with giant eggs. Oh, we gotta get it, we just gotta yank it out. Here we go. Okay. You ready? Slide it, lift it. Uh, we might be able to slide it. Let's see if we can slide it. Okay. Go ahead and pull it back. Okay, hold on. Now she's gonna take a strike at a face if you can see it. So we don't want her to be able to see anybody's eyes. That's a handful. Look at the eggs in this clutch. Because we have a crowd out front, and I told them we're going to do this, I want them to be able to see this whole thing. So normally we would have just pulled it out, set on the floor, take the snake off. So now what we're going to do instead, and we're going to take it over there, and now we're going to do it just as if we took it out of nowhere. She probably will not strike if she doesn't see anybody's face. And if she does, please don't drop her. Might be a couple bleed, a little blood, but just why don't you follow us and, uh, you run, you run cover if she sees somebody's face. This is something else. Okay, everybody stand back. Jordan, you wanna go grab the egg case for me? I, need, I think I'm gonna need two. Come on over this way if you wanna see an amazing thing. We're gonna pull about 40 eggs from a big, big python. But I need everybody to kinda of stay, keep a distance. Anybody that's frightened of snakes, please stay in the back row. The idea is for her to strike somebody besides me. Anybody, any volunteers? Wow, it got quiet in here all of a sudden. We have one crazy woman over there. <laughs> Raise your hand. You're okay, don't worry. I've, I've done this before, thousands of times. Doesn't mean I won't bleed, but nobody else will. Okay. Oh. I'm going to temporarily put her in here. Please be considerate of everybody else. If you want to touch them, one finger, work your way from this end and just walk by and you can touch the eggs. This particular type of python takes about 90 days roughly to hatch. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. 63 eggs. That is almost a record for us. That's awesome. So we have 63 eggs. So if you guys, if you guys go home and write on your calendar, 84 days from now, you can come back in and actually see these eggs hatch. Did you guys all have a good time? Yeah. Is this the coolest place on earth? Yeah. Right on. This is business, man. <laughs>